This lesson covers words that end in ION both in English and in Spanish and they happen to be cognates which means they mean exactly the same thing in both languages and they look the same in both languages. So let's look first at a piece of graffiti. I chose this particular piece of graffiti because it ends in ION and it fits perfectly in with our grammar lesson and essentially means exactly the same. There's one small change in the word which is the C replaces the T in English which would be revolution. So let's look at a list of these. LA ION is the name of our lesson for the day and you notice that SITUACIÓN, ACTION, COMMISSION, AND REFLECTION all end in ION and in Spanish it'll be the same. The only difference is there's supposed to be an accent over the O in Spanish and it's always feminine. Any word that ends in ION in Spanish is going to be a feminine word. So you can see LA REVOLUCIÓN. They got that part of it right. So VIVA LA REVOLUCIÓN. Long live the revolution. So let's look at the first one. SITUACIÓN is a word that ends in TION and the T is going to be replaced by a C like REVOLUCIÓN. In this case SITUACIÓN. Exactly the same word exactly the same meaning both in English and in Spanish it's a cognate the only difference is you're gonna have a C instead of a T and the accent is always gonna be over the O. Action is a CT CT in Spanish is gonna be CC and pretty straightforward so it means the same looks the same in both languages acción and you can see that's added into this slide indignación so they kinda of played with two words indignation and action so if you are indignant take action go to the Plaza de Armas and have your uh, have your protest commission if a word ends in an S it's gonna end in an S and notice commission in English has double M double S and only one in Spanish typically for words in English if they have a double letter Spanish is gonna remove those it's not as necessary in Spanish so they do have double letters in Spanish but usually they're removed and made single letters comisión then we have a word like reflection which should be CC because it's a CT in English but it goes to an X instead so we have reflexión so that's kind of a it's a smaller group of words that instead of having CC you have an X. This is a chance now for you to do some practice. I'm going to have these three words up here for you. I want you to write the Spanish version off to the side. So take a second and write Spanish for information, education, and attention. And I'll give you the correct spelling of both of those in about 10 seconds. For information, you should have la información. These all end in T-I-O-N. La educación and la atención. So the key things to keep in mind are la and ión with an accent. They're feminine and they have an accent over the O. And in this case, because they're T-I-O-N, this is going to be C-I-O-N. La información, la educación, la atención. Three more for practice, dirección, election, and construction. These all have CT. So I'm going to give you 10 seconds to write these out as practice on your sheet of paper. You should have la dirección, la elección, la construcción. Notice it's la. There's an accent over the O. And this time it's going to be CC because in English it's CT. Try out these three, version, occasion, and division. Write those in Espanol off to the side. La versión, la ocasión, la división. Again, feminine, ION with an accent over the O, SION. And occasion has two C's, but in this case only has one C. It's usually not necessary to have the double letters in español. Reflection and connection. These two should be la reflexión y conexión with a double C, but they're two of the irregular ones that have the X instead. Reflexión, la conexión. And then we have some that are exactly the same. If you look at this, opinion is going to be la opinión, reunion, la reunión, question is la cuestión, with a C instead of a Q for cuestión. That's really the only difference. Going to be feminine, accent over the O, and the C instead of the Q. So you notice that some words in English are exactly the same. There's no difference. Just throw in an accent. You've got it. These three are a little different. Notice pressure, function, and population. They're all a little bit different. Pressure is not pressuro or something. It's la presión. Function should have a CC, but it doesn't. It's one C. And population has a B in there instead of a PU. Presión. Also another way to say presión is estrés. Pressure is the word for stress in Spanish, but a synonym is 
estrés. You can say, I have a lot of presión or I have a lot of estrés. And most of us in our lives, we have at least some estrés or some presión. In this case, presión, función, and población with a B instead of the P-U. So these are in that list because they end in I-O-N, because they're feminine, but they're a little bit different. So let's look at the review. We have T-I-O-N, C-T-I-O-N, S-I-O-N, and then a couple C-T-I-O-Ns that are going to be X. La situación, la acción, la comisión, la reflexión, feminine, accent over the O, C, 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 S, and X. And then we have a couple others that are going to be exactly the same, la opinión, and then some that are going to be a little different, la presión. That's our grammar lesson. Any word in English that ends in I-O-N is going to be I-O-N in Spanish. Throw an accent over the O, put in a la in front, and you can see a word like this, viva la revolución, is a very good example in real life of a word like that being used, and it's going to be really common. You'll see it all over, and that's the end of our lesson, both culturally and grammatically. Words that end in I-O-N in Espanol.